Are we going? Starting off, yeah, we're going. This oh, is the okay. podcast right here, buddy. Right here, podcast going right now. For this, I believe, our writing. Okay, um, class period, you... Thomas? A3. What's, A3? Your, what's your full name in class period? Thomas Moore, and you? Uh, um, I'm Astrid Lowe. That sounds <laughs> so similar. Um, B5. That was my class period. B5. Took him a little while to register for that. It's okay. He's a little <laughs> slow today, but we're going to roll with it anyways, because this is due today. Mm-hmm. We only have, like, how long to record this? That's oh, fine. we got about uh, five and a half hours. Perfect. That's enough time, right? Hopefully. Yep. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, Thomas. Let's dive right in. What is your topic on? Let's start it off. My topic for my final writing was the importance of friendship and how it molded me. And uh, who was... <laughs> <laughs> Who was the uh, the person that you chose? Well, the person that I chose for my paper, Ashton, is uh, you. <laughs> oh, splendid. <laughs> so, I mean, mine is just on an exploration, and we've done a lot of different random crap together. I don't oh, know. yeah. We've been many friends for, like, how many years? Like, four or five? Yeah, I think uh, soon to be five here. And, uh, so, yeah. quite well. So yeah, it's it's been quite a bit. It has, um, it has. We've gone through a few things, like you've moved, like you stopped, you did online school for a bit, and then you moved mm-hmm, out of mm-hmm. state. Uh, how was that? How was that experience? Like, where'd you move to, and what kind of happened? Well, there was a couple things. I mean, back to online school, you know, like I was for a while, which never thought I'd see it again, but here we are. <laughs> um, I traveled for about two years doing online school, which wasn't the most fun thing, having to sit on this old crappy computer while I'm in a moving truck that's just shaking around as I'm driving cross country, but I got it done. Um, I mean, whatever works, works. <laughs> yeah, you know, going about uh, 2,700 miles isn't, uh, you know, the best experience when you're on like your $50 laptop trying to just do your online school, but I uh, managed to pass all my classes somehow i'm not really sure how i did that what was the first state you moved to the first state i moved to um if i remember correctly sheesh i've been so many places it's hard to remember all of them but um i'm pretty sure i started off at uh georgia and when was, was that first place for a while that was like january of some like eighth grade no january of seven Seventh May. I was still going. Uh, oh yeah, we were at Willow Creek together. You're right. You're right. I didn't. I didn't start uh, moving until like uh, yeah, until later eighth, in eighth, eighth. eighth grade. But you but, did online school all of eighth, right? You didn't go. Yeah, to I did online eighth. school all of eighth and ninth. Yeah. Sure okay. You, sure, you can imagine how that was as far as uh, social. And now you're tenth grade. Doing online school again. Back to online <laughs> school yet again. <laughs> so, Georgia. Georgia was the first place, right? Uh, I think so. It's really hard to remember. Everything's kind of all, like, muddled up in my head because of, like, how much was going on around that time. That what was, really what was, like, the first, like, huge thing that happened in Georgia for you? And how did that impact you? Oh, uh, sheesh. The first, like, huge thing that happened in Georgia. Yeah. I don't know, man. Just, like, um... The move there was pretty tough. I mean, like, I got to, like, this place that I had no experience at. I've never been to Georgia prior to this. And um, <laughs> when we started off, it wasn't actually the place that we lived when we first got there. We ended up in, like, this weird town, very desolate. Uh, apparently, they filmed some Walking Dead there, so that's a little fun fact for you. <laughs> it was pretty interesting. Exploring was... the scenes of a Walking Dead set. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty interesting. It definitely looked like The Walking Dead. There was a whole, like, ten people in that town. Pretty interesting. A definitely solid ten people. <laughs> yeah, I'm Oof. sure you can imagine how lively it was there. Oh, I bet. Um, but but no, it was... <laughs> yeah. It was alright there, but it was just really empty. That's good. Um, so, after we figured out... We didn't want to live there. <laughs> my, after my mom having a mental breakdown, saying how awful of a decision it was, um, we ventured off to a different part of Georgia, not too far from Atlanta. It was pretty. Uh, it was a lot nicer. Super okay. hot and humid, though. The move was yes. absolutely dreadful. I bet. But um, 
super nice people that we met up with uh That's there cool. just like to greet us yeah super nice lady and um offered to help us move but man did we sweat like we've never sweat before <laughs> uh the day we were moving in it was about 110 degrees and 90 percent humidity sure you can imagine how much we were sweating then oh yeah stepping <laughs> aside in 120 here it in was Arizona a workout then. buddy it was absolutely <laughs> i can't atrocious. imagine moving yeah going from uh, utah to georgia from like super dry like zero percent humidity all the way to like 70s and 90 percent humidity it was quite a big change oh i bet um did anything like change your life forever in georgia or was it just was georgia the first state that was just like eh, i should just get used to this um i wouldn't say there was really anything uh life-changing but it was definitely a good experience there is just a completely different scenery like it was completely new to me i mean Coming from Utah and going to Georgia, it's completely Dude. different atmosphere. So, I mean, oh, my I backyard my backyard was basically a jungle at the place. I mean, there was frogs on my doorstep, so it was definitely interesting, for sure. <laughs> of course. Um, in Georgia, right, what yeah. was your, like, what did you do to, like, just pass the time? Yeah, I mean... Being out there in a place that I've never been f before, it definitely got boring. So I actually, for the time I wasn't doing my online school, which I was still obviously having to do, I wasn't enrolling in any normal school, only like being there for three months before moving to a different spot. So what I did for the majority of the time was actually just work out, honestly. Yeah. Every morning I would get up around 7 o'clock sharp, hop in a shower cold showers of course being hot there cold showers is actually kind of nice and then go on a walk um my place that i was staying at was like this interesting little apartment uh complex but not too far from it was a pond with like turtles and fish so that was pretty nice but waking up just about sunrise and going for a walk around the pond and then hitting the gym no it's gonna take a little bit longer than five minutes <laughs> <laughs> i paused the recording a little late so i captured a little bit of that but that's all right i mean yeah it, should, it shouldn't be too big of a deal um how much longer uh, are we gonna run this are we gonna finish it before you gotta go eat your well i gotta do that now apparently uh, what time is it for you right now uh 5 49 okay i'm an hour behind you i'm at four it's 4 49 for me Okay. Yeah, so interesting. When, when are we resuming this? Uh, Would just you say? in like, I don't know, thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, you'll be back. So six twenty-ish for you. All right. See you in thirty minutes then. All right. All right. So back to my traveling. Yeah. My exploration, <laughs> all that stuff. So basically, in Georgia. Like I said, I just went to the gym, uh, swam every day, ran on the treadmill, did weights. That's like all I had time for. But it was really nice out there. So walking was a really nice way to pass the time. That's when I listened to a lot of music and got into like some of the artists that I'm into right now. A lot of like the hip hop artists and stuff. So along with that, like, did you go like anywhere significant every day or did you always try and like find somewhere new or explore a different part of where you were living at the time? Well, my exploration was fairly limited because um, it was kind of a foreign area to me, and I didn't want to be, let's say, in a bad spot because some parts of it were definitely sketchy. <laughs> to put it uh, simply, there was definitely some way. sketchy... Yeah, definitely some sketchy parts. Not going to go into too much detail there. But, yeah, I mainly just stuck to the same area, you know, around, like, the the pond and, like, the pool and all that area. Okay, okay. So, pretty local. You didn't go anywhere too far. Yeah. I try to keep it that way. What state came after that? Um, after that, well, we stuck around there for quite a while. Like, we went, we were at uh, Florida for a little bit, but the place we went next was north carolina okay 
North Carolina, let's just say, not my favorite spot. For sure. Anything interesting happened there? Um, <laughs> nothing that I feel like we should talk about on uh, this podcast. At let's least. go for it. Let's dive right in. <laughs> what was the first event that happened during this period of your life? Um, well... It's, I'm trying to remember what area we're in. Um, again, in another apartment complex, you know, all the traveling, travel mm-hmm. jobs and all that stuff. Um, I don't know if we want to get into the neighbors or not. Uh, if no, so, we're, go probably gonna, we're probably going to have to edit that out if we do. No, no, that's fine. Just keep it light. <laughs> keep it light. Um, keep it light. <laughs> uh, how do I start? Um... Basically, my whole whole uh, complex was stoners. Uh, <laughs> Basically, splendid. Did yeah, it so... fun? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, so that was that was interesting. I got offered to smoke a couple times, but obviously, I turned them down. <laughs> I'm not gonna just go smoke with some random people. Definitely was not down to do that. Not part so... of your forte of the evening. No, so that was definitely interesting, and uh. The weed smoke came through the vents, which was not ideal, but we found a way to figure that out, so that was a little better. <laughs> I want to tell your neighbors to... <laughs> Wait, is it legalized there? I wonder. Um, I am pretty sure it's not, <clears throat> especially so, at the time in which I was there. Your neighbors were just kind of like... That type of people. Alright. Yeah, it was, um... Definitely an interesting experience. Oh, I bet. I can I can see why. Um, did anything else happen when you were in North Carolina? Um, nothing that was uh, too significant. Again, I was more keeping to the routine of working out, walking. I explored a lot more there. Um, yeah. I ventured off farther. Like my walks would go to like an hour to where I'd like go to different places, but. Yet again, it was still sketchy in comparison to what I'm used to. I yeah. mean, <laughs> having I mean, my whole complex be <laughs> having my whole complex be uh, people legally doing drugs. I'm sure you could you get can. an idea of. Of course, of course. The area, <laughs> not the safest of spots. No, definitely not. There was a lot of um, interesting spots during our adventuring. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, did you go to another state after that? I can't remember, it's pretty long ago. Um, gosh, it's actually hard to remember. I traveled along, like, the whole, the whole coast. Let me pull up, uh... What state, like, directly came next? Let me pull up a map here so to better, okay. uh, recall yeah, all this. <laughs> oh boy all right <laughs> so there's a few parts i left out um yeah. with the traveling so i obviously started off in utah you know of course as we know and then we went through colorado then we went down through oklahoma to texas and then we just kind of followed around the bottom of the states mm-hmm. so then louisiana I stayed there for um, actually quite a bit. It was awesome there. That was probably one of my favorite places to go. Actually, I really loved the people and the culture there. Like really? when we were, yeah, when we were walking around, there was like some really interesting stuff. It's definitely got like uh, a few Vegas vibes as far as some parts are less kid friendly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it was really interesting. Like there was just people just like spread out everywhere that just like kind of had stands like live music people just like doing their own thing like card reading like art yeah just just vibing basically a bunch of really cool stuff and while we were there just like walking around exploring beautiful landscape by the way um super pretty y'all see if i can send you a picture later but it was very nice there and we're just like walking around you know just exploring the area and then there's just like this parade that just starts happening it just like forms out of nothing it was super 
super awesome. Definitely it's not like a first experience. Like you don't expect like a parade to just happen. Like a bunch of people just like dressed up in their cool uh, costumes and just like playing music and stuff. It was amazing to watch. And um, I was there for a little over a week. But super awesome place. Definitely gonna have to go there again. And then, um, as far as like Colorado, Oklahoma, um, we just kind of drove through those. We didn't really stay. Um, we stopped at Texas for a little bit. Um, didn't do a whole lot there. Um, but we just had to, you know, stop a couple places traveling as far as we were. And then, um, after that, we went through Mississippi. Alabama and then that's when we got to Georgia and we stayed there for a while and then we also were in Florida for a little bit as well just because of how close it was that sounds, sounds like fun. fun oh yeah it was a great time lots of um memories and just new adventures I bet so is that like your entire like trip in a nutshell yeah basically summing it up without getting into too much of the details that'd be way too long <laughs> i remember uh talking about didn't you get robbed at one point yeah <laughs> uh, yeah this is uh one of the least fond memories for sure <laughs> um where was this where did this take place going at? going back to north carolina with uh... my with my stoner neighbors the the whole time there was just it just awful. um not a fun time yeah it was just it was just awful it was not a good time was that the same place um, as the tornado too oh no um that was what we're in georgia was no oh actually it was both it was both um Wait, was in georgia both? yep well it was that georgia and north carolina there's a hurricane for both places super awful luck i I, I couldn't have had like a just worse luck um, the hurricane in North Carolina was way worse than the one at Georgia, though. That's for sure. Okay. Um, yeah, so when I was moving into my apartment in North Carolina, super interesting apartment, by the way. Um, as we were moving, we hired people because super hot there. And going up multiple flights of stairs with all the stuff we had was just not a good time. So we hired people after everything was done. We gave them a nice tip because they seemed like nice people. Um, later that day, I realized I was missing some of my items, and one of those items was my life savings of $600. So, definitely not a good time. Um, yeah, it does not sound like it would be. I didn't get those $600 back, and I still don't have that $600 that I lost. Um... So that was definitely a crappy time, and then not too long after following that, there was a pretty bad hurricane that wiped out a lot of the coast. Um, I can't remember category four, I believe. Did it have a certain name? If you're familiar with it, it's a one to five hurricanes. Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Um, and this is during eighth grade, right? Or was this during summer? This was uh, ninth grade. Okay. And summer. Did you visit Utah at the end of ninth grade summer, or like eighth grade, eighth grade, ninth grade time? You visited yes, Utah during that, right? I did visit for a little bit, yes. It was like a week ish, I want to say, right? You spent probably like a week here in Utah. Um, I guess in Utah. I think I, I think I stayed for about two weeks, if I remember correctly. Two weeks. All right. I think we only hung out like once. Yes. I remember the one time pretty vividly. Um, so for context, I found out he was in Utah. We hung out for like, I asked him if he wanted to hang out later that day, but I had to go to like Young Men's. And during Young Men's, the activity that we were doing, I didn't tell him what it was. So we get into the car, right? <laughs> we're just kind of like cozing through you somehow we're talking to this you're like fine i'll go with you to your th whatever and uh how'd you react to what it was like what the activity was um well once i found out we were um almost there 
um, and me being afraid of heights, uh, finding out it was repelling was definitely not the best news I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> and I was pretty uh, anxious at first. And yeah. as we were uh, walking up the mountain, once we've arrived there, uh, definitely a lot of tension built up the whole time. But <laughs> once we got up there, so hard to convince me. But um, you went down easier than I did. What? Well, yeah. Once we <laughs> uh, got to it, I ended up actually doing better than you did. Yeah. Um, I was down quicker and easier, but I didn't do it flawlessly. Of course. Of um. Course. There was a part where I did jump a little too far and then slip and bang up my head and my knees and scraped them pretty badly. Mm. And that definitely really hurt. Yeah. But I made it down the rest of the way all right. And it was it was a it was an interesting thing. It's I'm happy I did it. Um, but like you would not do it again. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I'd do it again, but I had the experience, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I think that was my second time going repelling. Yeah, that was the first time for me. Um, my I first... have, actually, I found some information on the hurricane if we want oh, to yeah. get back to that soon. Yeah, you can go ahead. All right. Um, so, I found, I actually found a page on the hurricane. Um, it was Hurricane Florence. I, okay. I found a little website with the timeline on it. So, it started at, like, um, Category 1, but it built up all the way to Category 4, which is really bad if you know anything about hurricanes. And the... Devastating. Yeah, absolutely awful. The... I can't remember. The winds got up to... Let me see if I can find it here. Um... Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Definitely... <laughs> definitely not good 140 mile per hour wind oh wow R really really bad it was a yeah. 350 mile wide tropical storm holy cow it's like absolutely awful uh places got as much as 34 inches of rain just so many places absolutely flooded it uh says here i'm not sure how accurate uh some of this information was but so far, this is, I can confirm this. Um, Twelve hundred roads were blocked. <laughs> that is, it, tornadoes were going on this whole time as well, and are absolutely awful. It lasted um, all the way from September first to September eighteenth. That was a big portion. Yeah, it was a it was a crazy storm. At one point, when it was like at its peak, even though I was a little ways away, uh, a couple like um, cities away, it was super bad. Like even as far out as I was, the winds were like 75, 70 miles per hour, and Holy like God. the power got knocked out, and things were just like flying around. And um, <clears throat> we were told not to even go outside. I mean, for, why like, would you? <laughs> yeah, like we. <laughs> We basically all of us just had to bunker down for a while. It was so you're used to this whole quarantine thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you could you could say that I've had some experience with quarantine, so <laughs> it's not uh, too hard for me. You know, having my past experience over those two years and all the times that I've had to go and just do online school and go through two two hurricanes. I was in the house quite a bit. Yeah, I can imagine. So you didn't do much, like, exploring. You didn't really go too many places. But when you did, it was, like, something that I guess you would look forward to do. Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, th don't get me wrong. Like, once I got to the places, um, there was some exploration. I was just um, kind of limited because of the, the area. The area, yeah. The areas I was in. But um, when we traveled to, let's like, let's say my favorite place, um, mainly... Um, was Florida. When we were in Georgia, we were at Florida all the time, and I absolutely loved it there. Okay. Super, super good weather. Of course. Um, it's <laughs> super good weather. I actually um, did one of my English assignments on uh, Florida because of how much I loved it there. Oh, the um, brochure. Yeah, yeah, I did my brochure on it. Um, 
it was just amazing there. Like the, I'm not a beach person personally. I'm not a huge fan of uh, getting salt water in my eyes. It's not really my favorite experience. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that's anyone's. Was, but yeah, it was a great time there. I mean, just being out in the sun and just like exploring, and everyone was just so nice. Like oh, Florida was definitely one one of my highlights for sure. Um, the whole like experience of going out. Yeah. And... Yeah. Um. <laughs> one of the things um i don't remember if i have told you about this or not but i was building a sandcastle you know kind of a childish thing to do but i was bored i We're mean hey like, why i was like hey let's, bu let's build a sandcastle right i built a sandcastle i had a moat to it and um a baby shark a baby reef shark black tip reef shark actually like gets pushed into my moat like it <laughs> floats up from the water and is in my moat this big moat that i've built i actually have a shark in my moat <laughs> and you're like uh oh. i was like um i'm like getting people's attention i have a, i have a shark in my moat like i've actually got my sand castle protected now i've got like this um the baby reef shark was about um a little over two feet still hold it with like uh two hands but Man, like, that was just, like, really amazing to, like, just be sitting on the beach and just have, like, a little baby, a little shark, baby shark. That's crazy. Coming to my boat. It was awesome. Did you get a photo of it? Um, actually, my parents took a video of it. I'll have to Snatch find it later. Sometime. Yeah, I'll have to find <laughs> it later, and I'll show you. But it was just awesome. Like, I'm not a huge fan of, like, the ocean and stuff, but there's, like, so many cool things. We found sand dollars. I mean... There was there was jellyfish. It was crazy. Wow. As was well in North Carolina. Yeah, it was it was awesome there. Um, well, we were in. Uh, I can't remember. There was a. It was very action packed. I can't remember if it uh, was Florida or North Carolina. But my mom actually got stung by a jellyfish. Which was, <laughs> it, it, which was How painful are those? Um, well, luckily she got stung by like a, a younger one, like a um, yeah, a little. A juvenile one she said it, it hurt pretty bad and it lasted about like i can't remember the mark lasted like a couple days but it it hurt her pretty bad for the the first day for sure but i was i th i just thought it was crazy <laughs> like we weren't too far out and there was just sharks and jellyfish it was awesome sounds, sounds like it oh uh, let's let's dive back into at the time when we first met, we were both probably, like, we were in sixth grade, right? Uh-huh. Um, we were both, I would like to say, like, introverted extroverts, if that makes any sense. <laughs> like, we didn't do too much besides just stay indoors and play games, but, like, at the same time, we were very talkative, we were very social. Oh, yeah. And I, I don't exactly remember how, I think Ben introduced us. Do you remember Ben, Ben Mulman? Yes, yes, I do. I think I've been friends with him for quite a while before uh, we actually met up. Yeah, I think he's the one that introduced us because you went to school previously with him, correct? Yes. Yeah, and then I just kind of was thrown into that class, and I was just like, "Oh, he seems like a fun kid." <laughs> and then <laughs> it turns out we became much better friends with each other than <laughs> with Ben. <laughs> yeah. Because we clicked pretty well, because we had very, like, similar interests, but I remember, I think, like, one of the first times we, uh, we, like, we hung, you, we would hang out a little bit here and there. Yeah. But I think the first time you, like, slept over it was, like, a pretty good time. Cause oh, yeah. I think we took, like, a little adventure to the Sinclair, right? <laughs> yeah. What did we get at the Sinclair on our first day? What, what do you think sixth grade us would have gotten? Oh, um, I had to think about this for a little bit. It was also a little bit, uh, a special moment for me because you weren't allowed to have sleepovers with anyone else. Yeah. And I was the first person was the first that person you were I... allowed to have sleepovers with. So that was a little highlight for me to <laughs> have, that, have that honor. Yeah. But, um, sixth grade us, what would we get? Uh, we probably got a arizona's as per usual still do good arizona's oh, seeds because yeah. we're addicted i'm sure we got like plenty <laughs> of different bags of seeds while we're doing all our uh, all-nighters and oh, yeah. um we had plenty of those 
surely some candies like Jolly Ranchers or stuff, stuff like that. I think yeah, I think Mountain Dew would be another thing like the classic, not like the anything more, the, like the classic yeah. Mountain Dew or like the Voltage or just like the the lower <laughs> not like Kickstarter or any like energy drink like we probably would today. Yeah, you were definitely more into that. I didn't really get into energy drinks until recently. I was just more sticking to. I mean, I didn't Arizona's until like and... eighth grade ish, eighth to ninth grade. Yeah, that's when I was like, oh, <laughs> this magical thing. <laughs> yeah, and we also, you know, had to get some of those propels out of the mini fridge in the basement. And then you had this whole thing that, like, oh, propels like cause cancer. I was like, oh, shut up! I'm gonna yeah, drink that... all the propel I want. That was actually really funny. <laughs> like you and Tristan were always talking about, oh yeah, Bruvel's like give you cancer and I'm not there like drinking him like <laughs> like it's water. <laughs> yeah. Hey, propose are good. I honestly don't blame you. We did a lot when we first started hanging out in sixth grade. Like that's when Pokemon Go became like huge. Oh yeah. And you weren't too into it, but I was obsessed no. with it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it took me a little while, but we definitely were like everyone else where we uh, really got into it. <laughs> we were pretty slow at first. Like, we didn't immediately jump into it. No, not a, not immediately, but we uh, <laughs> definitely got definitely a little bit of an addiction for a while. I mean, not the worst one because we were walking all the time, but yeah, we walked I don't everywhere. Know. Where was the first place we went on a um, adventures? If I remember correctly, you uh, came to my house first, and we walked around like the Jordan River Trail. Yeah, Jordan River and that uh, area, the park and such. Yeah, I remember this one time. It was like really late, and I was like, "Dude, I gotta go! I gotta go play Pokemon Go! I have to do it." <laughs> and they're like, "No, let's not. Let's keep doing whatever we're doing." Or you're like, "I'm not even just going to sleep." And I was just like, "No, I we gotta play Pokemon Go." Yep, yep, and then I do. You're like, no, you, no, 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 and I was like, just for a little bit, just, just, just for like, I don't know, ten minutes, and you're like, okay, fine. Keep in mind, it's winter in Utah. Yep, it was uh, <laughs> winter at the time, and it was somewhere around midnight, which everyone was already asleep. It was midnight. late at night. Yeah. We were still playing our uh, our video games, I think it was and yeah, I'm pretty like sure. It. I'm sure we were playing a uh, battle royale, um, <laughs> but I was super tired. Ashton was definitely more of like, um, I was a late nighter than me at the time because of all the drinks he was drinking and me being used to like my schedule and routine to where I go to bed and wake up at the same time, <laughs> go to bed early, wake up early, oh, which is obviously not the case now. I'm staying up from like two to five a.m. and sleeping into like eleven or. Yeah, like I call you at like watch. 9 a.m. almost every day now. Just being like, hey, get up. Let's let's play some games or something. Yeah, definitely uh, the exact opposite from what it was then. I'm more of you than, <laughs> than I was me. <laughs> so at the time, like, yeah, it was like really late. And I was like, let's go play Pokemon Go. So it's winter. There's like snow outside. And... We didn't put on too many layers. No. I think we didn't. I went out in like just a t-shirt and whatever like pants I was wearing. I didn't go out in shorts. I'm not <laughs> that stupid. But I think yeah. you had your jacket, your black jacket. Of course, need the jacket. But it was like it wasn't a heavy coat. It was just like a light jacket. Oh no, which was a mistake later on. Oh, of course. <laughs> we hop aside. It's like oh, it's a little chilly, but I was like, come on, let's go. I was, I was too hyped up. I was like, we gotta go do this. And then. We start walking. The sliding door was kind of hard to open because, like, it squeaked yeah. a lot. And it's, like, 12 a.m. We're not trying to wake anyone up because we're, like, we just want to go play Pokemon Go. We won't be out for too long. Um, we go out. It's, yeah, it's probably, like, 30, 20-ish degrees. Like, 20 to 30. Somewhere between there outside. And I was out there in just, like, a t-shirt, which was an awful idea. <laughs> you were out there with a light jacket. Pretty, like, not the best. <laughs> But we start walking, right? I have my phone, but my phone just wouldn't start working. Do you remember that? Yeah. Where I was like, oh, come on, dude, let me just use your hospital for festival. like, no, my phone's going to die. I was like, just for a little bit. Besides, we're just going to go home. And I finally convinced you to do that, too. You, 
have a way of convincing. I don't know how you do it, but every time you seem to make it work. Oh, every time. <laughs> I've convinced you to do so many things. Like, go out and just... Yeah, a lot of times. Oh, yeah. Like, your first bang at the Ridge Cafe up in Draper. That was oh, an experience. Right, I'm going to email myself some photos. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was like, I could definitely show some of those on. But uh, that was that was a fun experience, right? How was that? What was going through your head at that moment? Um, At the Ridge? Yeah. Ooh, that was, um, it was an interesting time. For sure. Um, how did you even get there? I don't even remember. Um, oh, we went right after school to help you move. Because we were with my sister. Yeah, that's it. So, Ashton's sister uh, drops us off at my place, which is way far away. It was. At the time, at the time, at the, at the time it was all the way up a mountain. This was <laughs> February Super of far this away. year. Tw- February 2020. Um, yeah. And... We get all the way up there. I'm not really sure exactly what we were going to do. I didn't really have it planned out. But we didn't end up moving like we originally had planned. I yeah. talked to my parents, and we didn't have boxes until later. So I was like, hey, let's just go exploring. Me and Ashton, our typical thing, just go exploring, go outside, walk. You know, that's kind of like our go-to thing is just walking around. Yeah, definitely is. And I was like, all right, well, let's stop at the ridge first because I want to go get a bang. And you're like, okay, I probably will get like an Arizona or something. I was like, <laughs> at the time, I was like, eh, okay, we get to the ridge. There's two options to bang. And I was like, hey, I wonder what this one tastes like. But I also know, like, this one's all right. And I was like, you should get one. <laughs> what went through your head when you're like, when I offered or told you to get this interesting <laughs> explosion of a drink. Um, yeah, so I at first was like, eh, not really my type of thing, but I I got it, of course. I of got course. <laughs> the drink after that. You We already know that. Yeah, at um, first you're like, oh, the lemon one's nasty, because there's two. There's like the lemon and there's like the punch. There's yeah, punch. and... Uh, spoiler, the the one he chose was better than the one I chose. At first Sadly. you're like, oh, that, that sounds nasty. And I was like, eh, it's probably not the worst. Yeah. We open them up. We, we get outside the ridge. We open them up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what, how'd you feel after, like, the first, the first little sit? Have you seen Over the Hedge? Yes. Of course. I I, do you remember the like, Xbox game, dude? I was, like, the squirrel off Over the Hedge. First sip, I'm already just feeling it, absolutely feeling it. From me, normally, I would just drink water and water only. That was kind of my thing. Yeah. Just constantly staying hydrated. I wasn't too into soda, but I start drinking that, and we're just walking. We walked for about two hours, and I was just we had absolutely... Fun. I was absolutely just crazy. I had so much energy, and I was talking way, way fast. Oh, at first you were. This was your voice. It was like, <laughs> like I was like, yeah. How can I process this much information? Because <laughs> <laughs> at first you're like, oh, I probably won't drink the whole thing now. I'm gonna try and wait. And I was like, just you're gonna catch yourself just sipping it until it's gone. Like it's gonna hit you by surprise. And I think you found that out a little later. Yeah, like, I. I... I definitely did. At first, I was like, no, I can't drink all this. 300? That's way too much caffeine. <laughs> That's unhealthy. And then I ended up, like, finishing it before you finished yours, which... We get, like... We start on this, like, <laughs> snow-covered trail. That, like, snow goes down to our yep. shins at first. At least we thought. <laughs> um, We start on this trail, and about, like... Not even, like, a quarter through our adventure, you're like, all right, I'm done. And I was like, What? <laughs> Like, I saw, like, half mine, and you're like, I'm done. And I was like, wow, now you know. Now you know that it really just flies by. <laughs> and I think at that note, like, at that moment, you realized, oh, no. Like, what just happened? Yep. I had finished the whole thing. I was full of, I think, 
some of the most energy I've ever had. Definitely not a healthy amount. <laughs> and <laughs> we just keep walking along. We're going along the snow trail uh, on the side of the mountain. Super beautiful, unexplored for the most part. Um, just going through the trees. Super awesome. Yeah. And because we're up in like the mountain in Draper. Yeah. Because that's where you lived. Remember the first winter that we went up there? We went oh, on this man. really long hike when we first moved up there in like ninth grade. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was in, like, my just my hoodie and my joggers at the time, and you were, like, you you were wearing, like, a coat and jeans. Yeah. Not, not a coat. It was more of a jacket. We didn't have yeah. boots or anything. We just had, like, our no. vans. And I think, Typical yeah. us. Stupid. Not wearing the proper shoes. And, and it's, like, shoes. it's a solid, like, six feet of snow outside. And, like, oh, yeah. still snowing. And we were, like, mm-hmm. let's go on a walk. <laughs> Yeah. Was it dark when we went? Oh no, at night it was dark when we left. When it was like still like blizzardy. We're doing the same stuff. <laughs> Are you talking about the the time, the time I slipped? Time... Oh, when you stayed at my house for that while. Just for like a few days, I think. Cause it was like snowy, so it wasn't in July. No, no, no. It, it wasn't July. Yeah. It was like, it wasn't last winter, but the winter before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was like, <laughs> we hung out for like three days after Christmas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two days at your place, one place at mine. Or one day at mine. Yeah. And that's the time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because the first night we went out, I have photos from it still. I was wearing like my Teddy Fresh hoodie. My drugs. <laughs> Classic me. Just going out in a blizzard with, like, you know, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that that seemed, like, to be my theme. I would just always go out basically wearing bare minimal when it came to, like, just acquired clothes. the absolute stupidest outfits for the weather. Oh, yeah. Because it was, like, it was blizzard. There was, like, at, there was tons of wind. It was cold. Yeah. It was night. It was. Yeah. <laughs> So stupid of us. And then mm-hmm. we went home after like... Because hey, we, well, we weren't out for too long. You're forgetting time. You're forgetting a few bits. Let me stop you there. Okay. What am I forgetting? The the girls. Oh! You're leaving out parts. Come on now. Oh! I Far remember now. that. When we were walking down the street. Do you want to explain that part? You can. You go ahead. You, you want me to? All right, I'll yeah. take this. Um, So... This was, like, more the beginning. You know, we're just not too far from my house yet, walking down the street. Um, super stormy out still. Still snowing. Not too visible. And as we're walking, me and Ashton see a, a window. Oh, the light's on. So we see the people in there. And there's just a group of girls um, around, like, six. Six of them, I'd say. I don't know. I only and... saw, like, two. I don't know. Maybe oh, I, I, saw, I saw a couple, um... I saw at least four, and I think I saw a couple behind them, and um, they saw us, but not at first. <laughs> Ashton, how'd you get their attention? Um, I was like, you know, it'd be a really smart idea instead of doorbell ditching. Why don't I just grab a snowball and throw it at the window? <laughs> the first one hits, right? They don't. They don't even notice the first one. So it's like, all right, I'll do it again. The second one hits and they only like gather around the window. I I don't remember much of what happened after that. Oh, you don't? I no. remember. I remember a lot of it. Uh, pretty good actually. <laughs> so Ashton ends up getting their attention with the snowball, and they all gather around to look, uh, to look at us. They just definitely varied. Um, some of them around our age, some a little older, some a little younger, but they all are just kind of like looking at us, you know, like, talking to each other and stuff. It was absolutely were, like, hilarious. At us there must yeah, have been, they... like, seven or eight of them all crammed in the room. Yep. They, uh, they all crowded around and they are just, like, talking to each other, watching us. It was the funniest thing. Me and you were just cracking up the whole time. <laughs> and then we just, like, you know, did our, like, dumb little things, like, head nodded and, like, waved to them or whatever before continuing on our adventure, but 
It was absolutely hilarious. Yeah, that was the time. And then after that, we went... We didn't want to go too far because we realized that it was... No. Like, snowing and it was cold, cold, cold. Awful. Very, very cold and late. But we wanted to take a few pictures and go to a few spots and just explore a little bit. Because we were bored. We didn't have much to do. Yeah. Besides go play Xbox. Which we did till like 3 a.m. But... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, before that, yeah, we we went out. We saw the one view. Do you remember that? The one view before they built. No, they still haven't built the house. It was like in the cul de sac. Yeah. yeah. And Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. I remember when we got there. There's like the trunk was like open. And there's a ton of people sitting in there. <laughs> the the cul de sac with the cars. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, interesting. So on our adventure before we. Uh, got to the end of it. This was nearing the end, but not quite. Um, there was just a gr- a bunch of people all huddled up with blankets, just like sitting on their cars. Um, what were they doing there, Ashton? I I'm gonna leave that up to you. <laughs> I I have to explain that part too. Yeah. I, all I right. Can't. So <laughs> these people are uh, similar to my. North Carolina buddies, if uh, you you get the idea there, um, they were just you know, absolutely vibing <laughs> at the time, just just vaping, you know, having a having a ball, and oh, we yeah. just walked past, and we we were so confused at first, not sure what's going on, and they just turn and look at us. So they said innocent. a few things. <laughs> yeah, we we were so innocent. They said a few things, but I can't uh, quite remember what they said. I can't either. <laughs> and we were just like kind of taken back by it. We thought it was just like the weirdest thing. We're like, what the heck? I'm pretty sure it was just people doing that they were talking because I didn't think they had like, their minds yeah, in order. I don't really remember anything that actually made sense either. <laughs> and then we continue on our adventure after uh, uh, these these two things happened, which were <laughs> pretty fun. It was an um, amazing view. It looked out all over like it was Salt Lake uh, County. Yeah. After, uh, well, at first, when we looked down at it, it was it was a little scary because you couldn't really see like the bottom of it. There's just like a it looked thick like layer. A of, yeah, there's just a thick layer of fog, and it was very dark. It was definitely a little daunting at first. But like, it was so nice. Like, that's like really what sparked like creativity and exploring of me is that like it looked over like a a good portion of like yeah. Salt Lake County. Like it was, it was, it was cool. I loved it. Yeah. And then after sure. that, I think we went home. Yeah. But we did. We we didn't stay out super late because it was very cold. We went out the next morning. Oh like, yeah. First thing in the morning, we went out. I didn't... Now, no, no, now we're getting into when you stayed with me. If we're getting to the exploring part. No, no, this was still during the winter. Oh yeah, yeah. I know what part you're talking about. All right, yeah, continue. We went out. We went to the breakfast. Like we went to breakfast because the mm-hmm. ridge is right there. We just walked. Oh yeah. We got our breakfast. I got. I love that ridge sandwich so much, dude. Great breakfast, always. What What was the ridge like? What was on that sandwich? It was like egg, ham, cheese. Anyways, it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's besides the point. Um, after that, we decided to go on a walk again because, like, why not? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we love to do. It, this is like the first time I think I like started to notice the whole like like this is the first time I've like really seen your neighborhood. Yeah. During the day. We start walking like we're probably like a few minutes in. Well at least we thought. <laughs> we're pretty far. We're like on this trail that we no no we saw a dog or some animal jumping around this cul-de-sac and I was like, all right, let's go check it out. So we did. It was like a dog. <laughs> Nothing much. And, um, we start all along this trail and we were on this trail for probably like 30-ish minutes. And then we started, like, we stopped at the other cul-de-sac because we found another cul-de-sac that it kind of went to, kind of didn't. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to look over this edge and see how far I can go down. Little did I know, it was the same edge from before, right? That was like kind of like a straight down cliff. Yeah. But this was like a little like after, so like 
I can actually see what I'm doing because it's it's pretty clear sky, uh, but it's still like pretty steep, like from what I remember the night before. And holy cow, um, my mom called me right then too. <laughs> so I'm on the phone with my mom, just walking down this mountain, and I, <laughs> I lose service. And right as I lose service, I slip down this like sharp cliff in like six feet of snow wearing like a white jacket and some jeans and my bands that was that was wild yeah i think at that point i realized wow it sure is cold outside yep <laughs> um this was our uh near-death experience going on here um, he fall, he fell a good ways, um, uh, about 15 feet down. Yeah, 15, about. 20 feet. Um, so he falls down there. He was his service, so his mom's not on the phone anymore. Um, and we're definitely panicked at first, because he's stuck. He couldn't get out. Yeah. And so I'm like, well, if he can't get out, obviously I have to help him, you know. And so I walk down there, and <laughs> as I'm going down to get him, I slip too, and I fall even like, further than he fell. So we're, and, we're both kind of stuck at this point. Yeah, <laughs> we're uh, both pretty, we're both pretty stuck, and I'm very panicked because I'm almost like at a drop off area to where if I fall much more, you're. You're literally I'm, gone. <laughs> I'm 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 dead basically. Yeah, you're gone. So I very panicked, just kind of like crawl my way back up. I have to hoist him out. He's like in uh like a dead plant or something. I don't know. He was in a, a really weird spot and he was in an awkward position, kind of like dead a turtle. Tree, yeah. Yeah, you were kind of like a turtle, just like on your back, stuck there. It was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as we get you out, we're both super cold at this point. Like, oh, um. Yeah. Neither of us had gloves, so our hands were very cold. Oh, yeah. It was, like... Oof. Very poor decision in, like... Not wearing the proper winter clothes. Oh, yeah. Um... What else had? Oh, yeah, my mom was trying to call me the whole time. Because, <laughs> like, I lost service, and... In that, like... Right when I lost... Like, we were down there for a little bit, because it took you forever to get unstuck, and then you had to come help me. Mm -hmm. Wow, that just that was a that was a good experience that we had of exploring, kind of like um, an eye opener ish. Definitely mixed experience, uh, life flashing before our eyes experience. Yeah, it, it definitely made me rethink a few decisions in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like wow, I could have done so much more. <laughs> like my, it's really over. <laughs> me almost falling off the cliff and you stuck. Okay, well, um. This was not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took us that long to figure out, huh, maybe this isn't a smart idea. Uh, after that, my mom, like, my mom came to me, whatever. Uh, that was the end of our last winter. And then later that, like, winter, I got news that I had to move to Arizona. That happened. I moved to Arizona for, like, what, <laughs> like, seven months? No. From February to... No, from April, not February, April to this January. So I was gone for like 10, 11 months? No, 10, 9. I think I was gone for like 9 months, right? Um, Somewhere around there. It's definitely, wow, I think it was actually closer to about 6. If... No, because it was, oh, I visited in June or July. Yeah. Yeah. It was about six months until you visited. Yeah, it was about six months until I visited. And then I spent the week at your house. Yeah. Which was a lot of fun. We stayed up. We didn't do any, like, too much exploring, I would say. Mm, not at the time, no. Until later. Yeah. Wait. I'm confused. What did we explore? I'm... So, you don't remember? No, I don't. Everything's so, kind of a blur. <laughs> we're talking about the time where you stayed with me yes, for in July. around two weeks. Okay. 
Um, so, awful sleep schedule, by the way. We were, like, almost oh, the all, airport was awful. all the time. Imagine being stuck in an airport for, like, 10 hours without anyone, just by yourself. Oh, that you want to start from when you got picked up? Yeah, I might want to start with that. Just because it's, like... All right, we'll start from the beginning. I get dropped off at this airport, right? It's about, like, 12. My flight's supposed to leave at, at like, 1. So it's not that bad. I'm by myself because I'm flying alone to Utah. And we get worried that, like, hey, like, we get on the plane, we put our, like, stuff in the overhead bins or whatever, and then they're like, hey, by the way, we need to get off this, like, we need to get a different plane or something like that. And we're like, okay, that probably won't take too long. About 10 to 11 hours pass, and it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, we finally have a new plane, a new crew, and then we had to wait for them to fly from Las Vegas to... Uh, Arizona, Tucson. So we're like, great, that's gonna take like another hour. So I didn't leave the airport probably until like 12. That was loud. 12. <laughs> At night. I was supposed to get in Utah by 3 in the afternoon. I didn't get there until like 1 a.m. <laughs> Which sucked, because you guys were waiting there for probably a decent amount of time, right? Oh, yeah, we were waiting for you. Um,. It was originally like two or something, so we were waiting to like figure out when we were getting you for like seven hours. Yeah, it was awful. It was. And then after you was picked me up, we went. What did we? Use? We went straight home. I remember mm -hmm. that because it was it was yep. late. Did we do anything right when we got there? We just kind of talked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked for a little bit, set up our place, and we just slept. I was very tired. And that so was the you. first night that we. That's the only night we got to sleep. Yeah, for the most part. <laughs> I think that's pretty uh, pretty impressive to say that that's our only night we got to sleep. Um, what what adventures did we do in July? Um, we can talk about the week that you stayed for a little bit, and then we should probably wrap it up. We're at fifty six minutes. Yeah, you're right. So if there's a time you can see what time we're at. Yeah. Where? So, well, <laughs> bottom right. Um, the week that you stayed, for the first little while, mainly we just no-lifed games. We had our little PC set up because you brought your laptop, and we just played a bunch of games, stayed up super late, and just ate a bunch of junk, basically. You left a couple times and just hung out with some other people, which was definitely kind of interesting. Interesting. Yeah, some interesting people. Yeah. Kind of... kind of annoying sometimes, for sure. <laughs> Especially for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the one time that I do remember is when we were staying up super late, we were playing Rocket League at the time. I mean, and... half the week was Siege, half the week was Rocket League. <laughs> yeah. And it was about... I was telling you, um, it was four or something at the time that a really nice time to go on walks up there was what time did i say it was like 6 6 30 6 30 yeah. 6 to 6 30 somewhere in between there um like just to where it's just light enough to where you can see but the sun's not quite up yet and you're like okay well we should go and walk and i was like all right so we just played games for a little bit waited until it was about time and we just ran around barefoot outside. There was very little people, a few people up at that time going to work. But um, for the most part, everyone was still asleep. And still pretty cold out, but we didn't really care. We were just running around barefoot exploring uh, along the main road and everywhere. Yeah, we went... We just... We stayed along like, the roads, but like... We, we were out for like a good two hours i want to say yeah we were just running around <laughs> off like no sleep just running around outside bare barefoot. feet where it's just barely light enough to where you can see yeah that sunrise was so amazing because like it was right behind us like up yeah around. absolutely beautiful and i just remember like an array like almost like a rainbow but it was only like pink blue and purple of just rays over the and, like sunshine rays over the mountain and that was amazing for sure yeah that was that was one of our experiences 
recently I moved back to Utah. Mm -hmm. Um, in January, uh, we hung out a little bit, like I want to say, like probably once a week, and then it was that week that we went like a lot. But one of the times, we got some sunflower seeds. I got you back into Pokemon Go. <laughs> Ironically, <laughs> back to where it started. Uh, we went on the Jordan River Trail. Uh, I knew this spot that um, was actually so cool and it's still one of my favorite spots to this day. It's like, what it is, is it's underneath this bridge next to a golf course. Someone set up like this system and what it, it's like this welded metal thing together and on top of it's just some like old plywood. Anyways, yeah, a little pulley <laughs> system with uh, some wood to where you, you can sit on below the bridge. Yeah, it's like over, it goes over the Jordan River and you pull yourself out there on like this metal rail. And so you're just like hanging from above this, like the river. Like that was one of my coolest spots and I brought you there. Of course, we had sunflower seeds. We got really dirty. That trail gate like, oh, got yeah. us pretty dirty, dirty, Very like, dirty. getting climbing up there. Cause it was it was pretty cold again. Mm -hmm. Back with the it being like probably like 30, 40 degrees. <laughs> oh, that was I think the coldest I had been. Yeah, my like, hands were numb. Once it got to about the end of it, when we were out about three hours and the sun was going down, um, I was so cold. Oh yeah. So so cold. Like even the adventures that we'd gone, where there was, um like six feet of snow to where like i had fallen i'm like waist deep in snow i was less cold than when i was then just because there was a uh, some wind as well so it was very yeah, that wind is numbing sharp yeah it was awful yeah that was that was awful but it was um, it was an experience it was a, it was a great experience we were walking for a very very long time we both had some really and... crappy earbuds that barely worked Oh yeah, but I got a I got a couple pictures. We hung out under the bridge, and it was it was a great time. It was great. No, I loved it. Uh, that's probably one of the I gotta pull up my notes because I haven't been looking at them at all. <laughs> yeah, was... I got I got twenty thousand steps that day, so it was, it was definitely nice. That was yeah. Not only that, like that's probably like one of my favorite spots, just because it's it's a very mind clearing spot. Oh yeah. There's not much there. Um, but it, it was probably one of the best things I've done, like getting to that spot and just letting, like, just vibing to some music over the Jordan river. Um, that's probably one of the best things that I've experienced. Yeah. Just cause it's like, even if when it was cold, like that spot is just like mind clearing cause it, the only thing is, it's like you, what you're sitting on in the river, and a few yeah. geese, and that's about it. Like, that's like the perfect spot to take a nap. <laughs> Talking about our nap spots, we don't want to give away too much information. You're right. I mean, it, that spot's also in Bluffdale. Uh, we walked yeah, it's, to it's, it's about a it's a yeah we walked from Bluffdale, but the spot that we stopped at was about a mile and a half away from Bluffdale. Yeah, so it wasn't like in Bluffdale, but it was it was pretty close. Yeah, which is far if you like live next to not Bluffdale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lightly. Let's wrap it up here. All right. Well, that was my experiences with Thomas. What you, Thomas? Yeah. What are you? What are your last words, your final words? <laughs> it's just a a brief summary, you know, not adding too much in there. Or else, this would be if I went over everything. This would be like hours and hours and hours long. Um, All those but just to summarize, yeah, midnight. just to just to give like a brief summary and just a kind of an idea of all the adventures we went on. We've been on so much more. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically just like a... That's just breaking the, the surface. Yeah, it's it's a good starting point and like kind of gives some backstory to everything we've done. Yeah. All right. I think that's good. All right. I'm going to press stop recording. All right, I paused it. <laughs>